Hey guys, it's Virion I1, and I'm talking about Sony State of Play. Now, for those who don't know what Sony State of Play is, it's basically like a Nintendo Direct, except it's for Sony. Now, their State of Play, one thing I really liked about it was that it was only about 13 minutes long. It's short and sweet, very nice. They just showed games and gameplay, and that's what we need. We don't need games, gameplay, then long explanations. No, they showed some cool games like Monster Hunter, getting DLC or an expansion. I'm not really into Monster Hunter, so I don't care, but some of the new games look nice, like Away, and definitely Final Fantasy VII Remake. That looks very good. But one thing I really didn't like about it was that they didn't say whether these games were exclusive to PS4 or not. You know how, like, with Xbox, they'll be like, oh, exclusively or timed exclusive or something like that, so you know at least which game is just going to be on that console, at least when it releases? But Sony did none of that. Sony just kept saying coming to P PS4 as far as I know. And I was like, wait, so all these may also be coming to Xbox. We don't even know. So that was one thing I didn't like about it. But they also announced a new console and it's going to be the Days of Play console. And they're bringing back Days of Play next month. Now, interesting enough, we did not hear anything about the uh, uh, PS5 conference or PS5 review or anything like that. We saw nothing about that. So... I'm thinking that maybe they may surprise us in June. If they don't announce it in June, I'm not sure if we're going to be getting a PS5 announcement this year. I just think that they're going to have to announce it before E3 if they announce it. I just think that's what they're going to do. They're going to want to get it out before E3 be begins. Uh, so either they're really just hiding it as long as they can, or they may not be announcing it this year. But I think they probably will. I think that right before E3, we're going to get a PS5 conference or whatever you call it. And they're going to announce the PS5. I just think that's in their best interest. I think they definitely have to bring out a PS5 next year. I just think these consoles have basically done their did. And even with the mid-generation refreshes, the next gen is going to be here soon. So I really think that Sony will probably announce a PS5 before E3. But when? I don't know. I think it's going to come like right before E3, like the week before E3 even. But other than that, Sony State of Play was pretty good. Showed off some pretty good games. And it kept it short and sweet. What did you guys think about Sony's State of Play? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.